blessing the people of God to yes. carry on in our absence. Thank you so much for the Holy Spirit that continues to teach us this word yes. and give us the power to live what we learn. All for your glory, honor, and praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hebrews chapter 6. Uh, and again, we thank God for the deacons, the of Christ, uh, conducting uh, service while we were gone last Sabbath and last night. Thank you so much for Carrying on in the name of the Lord. Amen. <clears throat> All right. Now, don't turn that, but in 1 Corinthians 15, it says the natural is first, then the spiritual. That's in understanding and application. For, uh, Reference sake, that's 1 Corinthians 15, 46. The natural, the natural came first, then the spiritual. It's in reference to Adam. Adam was a natural man. Christ was a spiritual man. All right? That's in understanding and application. If we don't understand the thing naturally, you will not understand, understand it spiritually. Which is why we, and in your analogy process, he says, start in that place, because we're more natural than spiritual. So if there's a natural understanding and application, then we, we'll have a spiritual one, all right? <clears throat> now, uh, Miss School Teacher, what, uh, what does school start this year? From August 15th, 15th, 15th. Now, uh, did you hear what she said? You missed the question. What did I ask her? When does school start? What did she say? Now, what didn't she say? What you heard? Did you hear that? Watch this. The teachers didn't come. When the students came. And they sure couldn't come. If they show up the same day, the students do, what do we have? Absolutely. They have to show up because they need to make sure that they're together, get themselves together. See, there's some pep rallies and some conversations that need to be had. Who happens to the last year? You know, I had 50 knuckleheads and three learners. But I'm, I'm, I'm hope you can't have this conversation with the kids in there. With the kids in there. Nah, cause who, who should call a knucklehead? The one asking. You know. <laughs> Oh, child, I felt like quitting. I didn't feel like quitting. I felt like killing everybody and then quitting. Yeah. You can't have that conversation in front of the kids. Right. Right. Yeah. Well, I thought I was bringing two guns because I wanted to shoot the kid and wait on their mom and daddy to come up here and shoot them too. You can't have that kind of conversation. That's real. Now, you can have it, Mother Deborah. You can, but you got to have it among other teachers because they already know exactly what you're talking about. Now, the Bible says first natural and spiritual. When we ch start chapter 6, verse 1, I told you several months ago, everything in Hebrews is necessary. What we plow through in chapter 5 is necessary for you to enter into chapter 6. If you did not make it in chapter 5, you're not going to make it. We ended chapter 5 on a not so positive note. 14, 15, and 16, the writer says, I should be talking to teachers. But instead I'm talking to, and not even the brightest ones. What the writer say? Man, y'all act like. Now, can you imagine this? Everything is progressive now. Um, when do you when do you learn your ABCs and your one two threes? No, no. See, and I appreciate those answers. 
That's now. It wasn't that way 50 years ago. You didn't learn at home. Because most of our parents, with their smart tail, decided that that was what you're supposed to learn in. And I ain't no school teacher. Learn at school. Um, see, I just said my wife this morning. See, because her mom was in the educational field, she went to preschool. We didn't go to preschool. So now you imagine that. Dorothy, you show up in kindergarten to learn your and your and you're already behind. You just now learning that and your colors and association and somebody else's kid <coughs> reading. Now, get the scene. So, okay, you came in knowing your ABCs and your one, two, threes in kindergarten, but the teacher said, we're going to learn our ABCs and our one, two, threes. <laughs> because in the natural, Rosalyn, you can't drive so fast with the smartest kid that you leave. Now, when you take church trips, you get on the highway and do 100 if you want. Now, it's one or two cars right on your bumper. But now, Dorothy and Karen and Mother Deborah, we in, we in Louisiana and they still in Texas. They no oh, Keisha too. They obeying laws. Yeah. Where did they turn that? We turned the corner two hours ago. Yeah. We all together though. That's it. Now, together. <laughs> but now you seeing something. So now we have to navigate in our travels where we drive fast enough to satisfy the gas mashers, but we have to drive conservatively enough to where we don't lose your Karens, your Dorothys, your Keishas, your Mother Devils. Anybody hear what I'm saying? Amen. It's the same in the house of God. But what is clear is, Paige, we got to keep moving. Because guess what? We're not just Driving to be, to be yeah. Yeah. we on our way, yeah. and we have a time yeah. because somebody yeah. is waiting on us. Yeah. Anybody yeah. hear what I'm saying? So now, when he starts chapter six, verse one, therefore, he's saying now, from this point forward, I should be talking to teachers. So see, if you're still, I need to be talking to meat eaters and not milk drinkers. See, if you got on your mind milk does the body good, you need to leave out here and go get some donuts or something to go with the milk. Watch this. Now, okay, you already know your ABCs one, two, three, but we're going to go over to kindergarten anyway. Now, the whole year, Mother Deborah, you go to first grade. Right. The teacher said, now we're going we're gonna to learn our ABCs and our one, two, threes. What? Come on, come on, come on. Take out a piece of paper pencil. Oh, my God. We get to second grade. Now, we're going to learn our ABCs and our one, two, threes. You and your mama up there with signs protesting. Jesse Jackson, now shopping. Because what you know is, something is wrong. My kid learned that three years ago. Why are y'all still talking about ABC 1, 2, 3? You do it in the natural, but you won't do it at church. How are you in church 20 years, and 20 years later, we still talking about A, B, C, one, two, three, and you got the nerve to be talking about Hallelujah! Hallelujah, my foot! <laughs> We're not shouting about where's the progression 
say? Yes. We done got on 20 and parked. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. We not only have endangered ourselves, we've endangered everybody else because this is a highway, not a parking lot. Yes. Watch this. Chapter 6, verse 1. What you got up there? Come on. Therefore, do what? Let us go on and get past the elementary stage in teaching and doctrine of Christ, the Messiah. Advance steadily toward the completeness and perfection that belongs to spiritual maturity. Stop. Let us move what? 13, 12, 14, 15. In your mama's house, what were you saying? Wait. Not that you can speed up the time, but there was a sense of urgency. Yes. Mm -hmm. Whatever mm -hmm. I need to do, I'm going to position myself. Now, I don't have a plan. I don't know where I'm going. And I don't know what I'm going to do when I get there, but this is what I do know. I'm getting out of here. And we got out. And go back. Some people did go back. Some of us struggled because while we were in such a hurry to get out of Mama's house, we didn't have no plan. No what we prepared. Watch this. Watch this. The writer says nothing about don't learn the ABCs one, two, three, Mother Deborah. Right. But when you learn them, Ladera. See, with every grade comes a greater challenge. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. As students, we whine and complain because there is greatness in us, but we have settled for mediocrity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, my God. And it is translated into every area of our lives. Man, that's four point on all of us. But somewhere along the line, we found out that the teacher will accept two point on. Mm. I can't get no help in here. Mm. And because the teacher will accept two point on, why in the world mm. should I push myself for four point on when two point is good enough? Mm. Good enough for who? Mm. And because we we consistently and comfortably run in a circle of mediocrity because that's what the circle requires. We don't require nothing above the circle. Anybody hear what I'm saying? He says, learn your ABCs in one, two, three, but now when you learn them, come on. Because reading come behind that. Counting come behind here. And not just reading words, you know, John went to the store. For what? Come on. Because when we get through reading the words, now I need some understanding. I need some application. Because guess what? See, we're talking about Johnny went to the store. But in a few more minutes, I need some from the store. And you're going to be Johnny. It's not enough to know how to read the words in this book. Somebody has to have some understanding right. and then somebody has to have some application right. because what shows up in our life is going to show up in the life of our circle. Yes. Right. Let us go on. Nobody gets in a race and just stand on the track. Mm. Now, ain't about how fast or slow you run, but what is important, Dick, is yeah, because it ain't just a starting line to this right. thing. It's but you'll never make the finishing line just standing there talking about, this is an awesome track. I don't know why we didn't think about this earlier. It's folk just passing you. Oh, God. Do you see these stands at this place? This is such a wonderful day. You don't get on a track to stand. The Bible says, let us run the... Then why are you standing there? Run the race that is set before page. So now, your focus is to run. 
Nope, I can't run mine because I'm too concerned about price rates. Mm. He should be further down the road than where he is. Mm. What do I have to do with you? Mm. How many parents told you and your sibling to do something and didn't know y'all do nothing and you were spared a butt whooping because nobody else did theirs? Mm. And that was your defense. Oh. What did you do yours? They didn't do theirs. How many got saved behind that? Well, okay, I'm not going to whoop none of y'all since there's nobody do theirs. I don't know where you were in the line. How many know talking like that made it worse? Sure. <laughs> Did nobody else do this? That's good. Lay down here. <laughs> Watch this. Let's get into this. Leaving, leaving. Let us go on. Let us go on. I like the language. Look at that, Roger. Let us go on and what? So what? Because as good as kindergarten to eighth grade is, guess what? When you graduate in eighth grade, ain't no job we know you got eighth grade normally. You got to And I love because just school imitates life. You can be the king and queen of the world in eighth grade. When you get to high school, guess what?
to first of all, you gotta catch up. Sense of urgency. How many know it's harder to catch up than it is to keep up? Yes, 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 then you end up running a race. Yes, yes, See, when you fall behind, yes, you got to run twice as hard yes, just yes, to catch up. Yes, and even when you run twice as hard, you haven't overtaken the first run. Yes, you have just caught them to the last one. Yes, and hear what I'm saying. Yes, now, how hard you run depends on where you want to wind up in this race. Yes. See, if just finishing is good enough, then keep that little slow trot. Mm. But if winning matters to you, you're going to have to mash on the gas. Yeah. And see, when you, when you start to see that people are sick in our circle because of us, mm. people are dying and have died because of us. You're going to blame a doctor. You're going to blame a sickness and a disease. What you should have blamed was the lack of the power that God put in you that we refuse to operate in. That's what you should have blamed. Right. Right. Jesus. Watch this. Watch this. Because we are comfortable with staying in the elementary spot, we did this high school and college all together. The writer says, get away from that. Mm -hmm. You, you, you. Mm -hmm. Now, he says what I like. He says, them first, them second two words in that line. What does that mean? Whoever teaching this, let's be clear. I ain't somewhere telling y'all, y'all come on. Whatever this destination is, the writer is encouraging the listener, hey, let's all go there. Yes. Yes. Oh my God. Get past it. The doctrine of Christ. Watch this. This is what I like. The Advancing steadily. How fast is that? Still moving. Say it again. So it doesn't matter. If LeBaron is going five miles an hour, guess what? He's moving. It don't matter if the leash is going 50 miles an hour. They both moving. And, and I can't judge his heart against hers because the word says, run the race that is set before you. If heart race is 50 miles an hour, she got to go 50 miles an hour. If his is 5 miles an hour, he got to go 5 miles an hour. And as a leader, all I need to know is, are you doing your 50? Are you doing your 5? Then y'all are pleasing to God. He can't judge her. I don't know who she thinks she is going all fast. And she can't dog it with your slow tail. No, you're going at the pace God has ordained for you to travel. Advancing Steadily. Mm. Keep moving. And perfection that belongs to spiritual maturity. Spiritual maturity, Dorothy, belongs to you. Yes. Mm. The writer said, get there. Yes. You know how come we are? Every time somebody shouts, I look, I look walking God. I'm not there yet. Joker, get there. Come on. Come on. Come on. And when you realize, how long you been saying that? Mm. Then you need to mash the gas. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, we've been invited to some church and you know, here it is at 12 o'clock. You know, it's a two-hour drive, and the service started at 3 o'clock. Mm -hmm. And it's 1.30. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. okay. Hello? Mm. Yeah. Mm. It's a two-hour drive. The service started at 1.30, and you still in Dallas at 1.30? Mm -hmm. And it started at 3 o'clock? Mm -hmm. Hello? Now you can get there at 3. You gotta get up on time. Yeah. But you got to get it up and go. Yeah. So now, yeah. See, watch this. I'm going to show you something. See, in, in those situations, Dorothy, this one's got to happen. When you realize, I want to get there, but I just, you, you don't get discouraged. You just have to call somebody like me. I need you to drive for me. Because I promise you, I can get you there in 90 minutes. Now, I'm going to need you to lay back and close your eyes and, and just relax. Yeah. Don't, 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 dis don't concern yourself with the sights or the sounds. Don't worry about what that sounds like. You just need to sit back and relax. I promise you, with the help of the Lord, Keisha, we're going to get there. 
Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Y'all spiritual maturity belongs to me. Say that. Spiritual maturity belongs to me. You can say when I'm coming this though. Glory. Yes. This ain't something that God hoped we arrive at. This belongs to me. Yes. Come on. It's amazing that you said it because that's one of the tricks that the enemy plays too. Mm -hmm. If I know I cannot yeah. get there, I got to find somebody. Some yeah. we got to find a way. Yeah. It depends on how bad I want to make yeah. it. Come on, yeah. Because I won't go. Or I won't ask. Or I won't say, "Hey, you good at that? If you're good at it, and I'm and I'm that's something I'm lacking. I need that from you. Yeah. How are you able yes. to do that at that rate?" We don't want to do that. Mm -hmm. That's too much. That's taking too much out of me to yeah. actually need that. And all the time, I can look back at my life and see people that I should have stopped and said, "How you did that?" Yeah. Now I gotta fall and hit my head over and over and yeah. over again until I done paid enough. Now to say, "Oh yeah, I got it now." See, mm -hmm. it didn't take all that when Save I could have had when God placed people right in front of me. Mm -hmm. To mm -hmm. help me maneuver through this life and to be a blessing to me, mm -hmm. but I, 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 don't, I, don't, I don't see that. I, I don't feel it. See? My spirit don't feel it. And I'm going to show you how real that is. See? Yes. It be, not, just how bad you want it. It's yes. the sense of urgency in you. Because yes. I watch this. We're still natural. See, all these photons drive us slow. Be in an area where it, it, it's, some, it's some hooded folk or some light skinned <laughs> folk. Yeah. Look like they, they're trying to get you to kill you. Mm -hmm. I bet you mash the gas yes, then. Sir. <laughs> See, I'm gonna show you how it works. See, and that's why you have to thank God, because hardships, problems, circumstances, all of them ain't our enemy. Right, right, right. Some of them was sent to help us. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure what I mean. But then I've been walking home from school one day, and you know, you just tired, whatever. You dragging, you walking, stone in your mind. Oh my God, if I can just get to the house, because I'm already on. Mm -hmm. E. Mm -hmm. And you believe that. And God says, see, you don't believe that. I'm sure you don't believe that. Mm -hmm. And then Miss Silas Rockwaller got out the gate. <laughs> Come on, man. You know, you're you looking, but you ain't listening. Yeah. Yeah. And for to, today, he, th he, he didn't decide he's going to bite me. Not today. Not today. But you was out of gas. Yeah. Now, how come a block and a half, you ran two legs, I ran four legs? Wow. See, now you cussing the dog, but you should have been praising the dog. The dog just showed you something. See, you said she was out of gas. Like, it's a whole lot more than that than you said it was. Yeah, now you hopping and pumping, but you done ran in the house and slammed the time out the devil. is a lot. Yeah, uh huh. You finna bite me today. I thought you was out of gas. See, that dog showed you something. Y'all, watch this. See, some problems, some troubles, they showed up. For one purpose. Yeah, yeah, See, you whining and complaining, but it's a whole lot more in that tank than you yeah. think it is. Yeah. yeah, it's plenty more gas in there. Yeah. Watch this. We gotta move. We gotta move. We gotta move. Advancing steadily. Advancing steadily. Advancing steadily. Yeah. We gotta get somewhere, y'all. Yeah. Spiritual maturity yeah. belongs to me. Yeah. Watch this. Well, now, not only your teaching. And you're studying. Where are you? Look at this. Let us not again be laying the foundation of repentance. Oh my God. And abandonment of dead works, dead formalism. That's law. Come on. And of the faith by which you turn to God. Have the faith in God. All this mm -hmm. basics. Come on. With teachings about purifying. That went with the law. Keep going. The laying of, on of hands. That's healing and transferring of. Give some time to God to give us. Come on. The resurrection from the dead. Come on. And eternal judgment and punishment. Watch this. These are all matters of which you should have been fully aware. When? Long, long, long ago. ago. You should have learned those things and been operating in those things. See, in the natural, it would be tragic. To have a grown person to tell you, I don't know my ABCs or my one, two, threes. Mm -hmm. And we didn't met some folk that can't read. Right. Now, as tragic as that is, when you get through being shocked, what you realize is it's not 
the end. The only thing that matters is, are you willing? Come on now. Are you willing? Yeah. Right here, right here. Because yeah. if you're willing to learn and put the yeah. time in, then you can go. Yeah. Which means I can't take you at the pace that I would have taken you at five now. years old. Anybody hear yeah. what I'm saying? Right. Man, because you're in a world where you need to be able to operate, not yeah. later. Yeah. Right it's people screwing you over because you don't know how to yeah. read. They jacking you up because you don't know how to count. Yeah. I'm not trying to, I don't, this ain't just about you, man. Yeah. This is about your wife. This is about yeah. your kids. Yeah. This is about your family. Yeah. This is about those who are around you. Yeah. You got to get this right now. So we got to match the gas. Right. Mm -hmm. It's not, can I teach you? Ooh. Are you willing to learn right. and put the time in? Yes. Watch this. Y'all, we being cheated. You're looking, but you ain't listening. See, if I still got to beg you, daughter, to come to Bible study, mm. no sense of earth, you're missing mm. a point. Yes. You're being cheated, don't even know you're being cheated. Yes. See, as long as you find with me giving you a, a $20 bill, and you going in the store and buy some gum, and come out with change, mm. there should be an outcry. Right. Where's the rest of the change at? Oh, that's all they gave me. See, now as an adult, what you finna do? We don't go back in this store. You don't give me the rest of these dollar bills, I'm gonna burn this store down. Yeah, because send your kid in there for a, a dollar hamburger and a dollar fries with a ten dollar bill, and they come back with just the food. They didn't give me no change. Oh, oh yes, they are. <laughs> They didn't give you no chance, but somebody go for me, give me some chance. And see, why you going to act in a fool? Because you have been, why you want to act a fool in church? Ooh, come on, man. Come on. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. Hey, good Jesus. to see all of y'all. Good to see all of y'all. But I done drove halfway across town because of the hurricane. They done raised up gas prices. And you going to give me a little plate, a little kitty name word? No, we finna fight. See, yeah, why you don't act the preacher like why don't Jack the teach up like that? Come you got to get real up in here. Yes, yes, hey man, I got real yes. stuff going on in my life. I got real stuff going on within me. I'm yes. trying to get somewhere God. I didn't drive that way across town for you to be playing with me. Yes. Hey man, you should have studied this yes. week. Yes. You should have prayed spent some time with God. Yes. You should have fasted and prayed. Just because you play with God don't mean I'm playing with God. Yes. Now I bet you when I come in the next time, you better have a word for me. See, when you put pressure on somebody, mm -hmm. somebody got, oh, okay, okay. Well, I didn't know it was that serious. Yeah. And yes, sister, yeah, brother, I'm sorry. I should have, but I didn't get up till this morning, two hours ago, and started working on my lesson. I bet you would start working on it before now. Mm. <laughs> yeah, because that's the time that we live in. The verse said, let us go on. Go on. Get past this. Get past this. Watch this. Mark chapter 6. I'm sure how serious it is. Oh, I don't want to go there. Y'all got me on the wrong side. Um, 1 Corinthians 3, verse 9. All that stuff you read, Delicia, when it's the elementary stage, it is the foundation. The foundation is a crucial part of the building. Yes, it is. But Mother Robin, it ain't the building. It ain't oh, my God. It's called the, for a reason. Look there, it's what you put the building on. The foundation is the most important part. But if you stop there, you ain't got no building. When a hurricane comes through, it will take the whole building, clean up and leave, Foundation. And how come the owners don't come and come up? Ooh, thank God, at least the foundation is left. Why you don't say that? First Corinthians chapter three, verse nine. Watch this. Listen to this. For we what? For we are fellow workmen, joint promoters, laborers together, mm -hmm. with and for God. Come on. You are God's garden and vineyard, and field under cultivation. Under what? Cultivation. You Cultivation mean what? And what? Can't not have a garden before. Mm -hmm. yeah. Easy work. Oh, no. Why are you frowning like that? No, sir. It's a lot of work to just get 
Yes. Two or three little things. Watch this. We we are God's what? Garden and and that's three different areas. Under so I asked you was gardening hard work? Yes, sir. Yeah. Then what about Phil Levine? <laughs> Watch this. You what? No, God's foundation. Ten. According to the grace, the special endowment for my task of God's bestowed, bestowed on me. Watch this. Like a skillful architect and master builder, I laid the foundation. Come on. And now another man is building upon it. Watch this. But let each man be careful how he builds upon it. What, what did verse 10 just say? Ain't nothing important but the foundation. That's what we teach. Mm. How many of us error teaching then? Yes, it is. What was Paul's job? To build on the Look at verse 10 again. What was the apostle's job? Look at it. What did it say? I, that's Paul talking. Okay. Especially down for my task, God so told me like a skillful architect and master builder, I laid the foundation. That was the apostle's job. Right. Watch this. He said, but now. I'm going to move on yeah. to the next town to help them lay a foundation, right. but somebody in the town I just left got to do what? Build. Yeah. 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 We shot in church and ain't got nothing but foundation. Your prayer life, your married life, your single life, your financial life, your everything life is torn up on the floor, but you got a foundation. It's raining on you. It's snowing on you. You, I mean, the heat elements, the cold elements, and your family look at you crying. Tell them, Mom, what's we gonna do? We're gonna draw the foundation, son. No, 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 no. He said, I laid the foundation, and and he what? Come on, and now another. Sound like to me, two men got assignments. Somebody is a foundation man. Yes. And somebody is a builder man. Yes. Quit calling for the builder man. Because you know, see, you're another part of the gospel. See, because what, what the architect knows is storms coming. Yes. To try all houses with or without foundation. You ain't going to stop the storm. Yeah, there are natural storms and then there are internal personal storms. They all coming yes. for one reason. To see what kind of foundation you got. Watch this. And the storm did not affect the foundation, just the house. Come on, come on. That's why the man said, be what? How he The Bible says first natural and spiritual. See, you you understand the the wolf, the big bad wolf, after the three little pigs. Now see the tragedy in the story is, guess what? Two of them pick that it up. Yeah. Tell it, get rid of it. Yeah. Hey, he helped them pop. Yeah, he got the first one, he got the second one. Why didn't he get the last one? <laughs> and you get that about the wolf right now. You so concerned, yeah, with your foundation. Watch this. Come on, verse 12. 11. Come on. For no other foundation Come on. can anyone lay than that which is already laid, which is Jesus Christ, the Messiah, the Anointed One. We agree on that. Yes. Jesus is. Why don't you have to stop right there? Jesus is all you need. Stop right there. Let's make sure the foundation is right. Why don't the chapter end right there? Because as awesome as that is, to have Jesus at the foundation. Come on! Verse 12. But if anyone builds upon the foundation, whether it be gold, silver, precious stones, wood, hay, straw, the work of each one will become plainly, openly known, shown for what it is. Stop. That's good. <laughs> it's, it's, it's supposed to be a building. We're the building. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. Yes, sir. Come on. Yes, sir. How come every time the wind blow, your house fall down? Mm. Come on. Because you weren't careful how you did it. <coughs> now watch this. Let us move on. Let us move on. Matthew chapter 10. Let us move on. Let us move on. Let us move on. How many know the devil's kingdom is fully established and functional? Yes, sir. <laughs> Them devils is doing what they're supposed to be doing. <laughs> and we have the nerve to even testify in church. Woo, child. The devil is busy. But you ain't. Come on, man. Why is he busy? Because of a sense of urgency. Sister Carolyn, the Bible says he already knows he has what? So let me tell you as much as I can in the time I got left. How come he got a sense of urgency and we ain't? Wow. Watch this. Let us go on. Let us go on. Let us go on. See, we're excited about milk because somebody done lied to us that milk was meat and it ain't. In chapter 10, verse 1, as you see this, watch this. Okay. Verse 1. Okay. And Jesus summoned to him his 12 disciples and gave them power and authority over unclean spirits to drive them out and to cure all kinds of disease and all kinds of weakness and infirmity. Stop. Who do any of that? No, this time you raise your hand. Okay, you don't do it right now. Who's done any of that? I didn't get one hand. Paige, that's what they did the first time they went out. Get that Delicia. Jesus was the foundation and he said on the front end, your first day on the job, this is what you're going to do. They dealt with unclean spirits. See, we want to say depression and uh, schizophrenia. We want to give all these medical terms. It's the spirit behind all of that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. They have to go to school for that. Learn their 15 and 18 letter words because it didn't matter what you call it. It's, it's, it's a power can deal with you. Yes, sir. Lord, have Yes, sir. Oh, God. Over. There will be some wrestling back and forth, but when the dust sounds, you're going to lose to their problem. Right. Jesus gave them power and authority. See, some stuff is a power issue. Some stuff is an authority issue. Yeah. Oh my God. Wow. Oh my God. Jesus. Y'all take too long. See, his brothers, me and Price will wrestle until the death. Even though he's saying stop, I ain't going to stop because we brothers. That's a power struggle. Mm -hmm. Watch this, Delicia. But if our daddy come in the room and say stop, that's something different. Because he's not going to wrestle with us. Right. He's going to go somewhere else. Yeah. And because we know that, deep we stop. Right. Now, yeah. watch this. As we get older today, now tell the truth. See, we get older and stronger, we can take our dad. But we don't because... Anybody hear what I'm saying? Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. We, we struggling with... The game part. See, I don't know. I don't know if I got power or not. Oh my God. Which means unclean spirits, diseases, weaknesses, and infirmities is running crazy. Not just on the heathen. Ain't nobody hearing what I'm saying. We got sickness and disease wearing us out. Why? Because I sit right next to somebody every Sabbath with the power of God in them, but they won't activate it. He has made it clear. He has given us. And Luke says in Luke, he said, I've given you power and authority to tread upon service and yeah. over all the work of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. I don't already give you power, but you yeah. sitting in church struggling over the elementary things. How about, child, I don't know if he even gave me power or not. I still smoke cigarettes. Mm. <laughs> I'm not a hoe, but I do hoe every now and then. Mm -hmm. Oh, Lord. 
And because you're struggling on the gay part, because you don't feel holy, you don't think holy, you don't talk holy, you think that's the hindrance of the power, and it spoke on your own suffering, because we want to activate the power that's been made available to us. Hebrews 6 1, get on from here, get on from here. See, in grade school, they got to pass the short letters. After a while, Ross, and you don't even fit the desk no more. Get your big tail out of here. Y'all, watch this. Watch this. Watch this. That's what happened on their first trip out. Wow. If that happened on the first day out, that meant greater was coming. Watch this. I'm going to show you what you don't see in that. See, that's when the Spirit drive them out, cure all kinds, all kinds, all kinds of diseases, and all kinds of weaknesses, and all kinds of infirmities. I don't care what folk got going on with them. The doctor ain't the answer. You are. But we scared. Anybody hear what I'm saying? You need to go to this 12 step program. You need to go to this one step program. Mm -hmm. What sense do it make to be in the company of the right person who don't believe they're in the company of the right person? Wow. Wow. Child, I ain't got nothing for you. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Do you see it? Don't. Mm -hmm. Jesus, I ain't going around all these places. Y'all going. Mm -hmm. Y'all got circles I don't operate in. Get with it. Watch this. See, when you progress from there, we can pray. See, in Acts, see, Peter was practicing right here, over there. but in Acts, these disciples get so bad, y'all, until, you know what? Too many folk came for healing. I ain't got time to lay hands on all y'all, but I do recognize you want to be healed. Now, this is when you're bad in God. See, when you move on from the elementary, Hold on. <laughs> lay all the sick folk over here. For what? Just lay them over here. <coughs> I, I, I can't lay hands on all y'all. But I'm just gonna I'm just gonna walk this way. Wow. Stay the way the sun is shot, casting a shadow. Yeah. Yeah. Don't, don't try to figure it out. You just put your sickness in the way of my shadow. Yeah. Oh, I'm just going to walk down here. Right. And as I walk past, the Bible said, as the shadow cast on the sick as the shadow cast on the sick folk Delisha, and they were healed. Yeah. Not here, though. Come on. See, they weren't ready for that. Yeah. Not only were the disciples not ready, Jamie, the people weren't either. See, you talking about your shadow? Who is you? See, yeah. But see, when the healer matures, the one with the sickness do too. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. See, the one with the issue of blood, she had been to church, she had been to changes. Yeah. But see, you got to get to the place in your life where you know what? It just don't matter no more. See, if the authorities catch her in the street, bleed. She gets stoned on the spot. Yes, but right. you know what? It don't even matter. Yeah. You know what? It don't even matter. I understand there's laws, rules, and regulations in play. But I'm trying to get healed. I can't get Jesus to come to my house. I'm going where he is. Yeah, I know you church folk got rules and regulations. Y'all wouldn't approve of me. You wouldn't sanction me being out here. This wouldn't meet your requirements and your standards. But I got news for you today. My healing ain't about you. It ain't about your rules and regulations. And it ain't about your standards. I'm willing to die for my healing. Because if I don't get healed, I'm going to die anyway. If I'm going to die, I'm going to die trying to get healed. Don't even hear you gotta get to a place in God where folk don't matter, church don't matter, rules and regulations don't matter. Father, we thank you and we pray for your word. You get all the glory, all the honor, and the praise. We may have been dragged, but somebody's got some giddy up in them right now. To say, God, I got to move on down the road. 
It ain't personal no more. It ain't just about me. It's about my family. It's about friends. It's about people I ain't even met yet. That's got problems I can't deal with right now. But if I move on down the road, I will begin to operate. Thank you for your word, God, that says the creature waiting on the manifestation of the sons of God. God, it's time for us to show up so that people can begin to trust and depend on you. I don't care whether they come with a cure or not. You are the cure. Yes. And we, your people, are the remedy for what else this world. Yes. All the glory belongs to you. All the honor and all the praise. Thank you that as teachers, we will move the class into the realm it's supposed to be in. Because spiritual maturity belongs to me. Yes. In Jesus' name, Jesus. amen. amen.